All right, I'd like to thank you for clicking on my video as I do my review on the HJC Arfa 11 helmet. I'm gonna give you guys uh, my honest evaluation. It's kind of a video that I was looking for before I purchased it, but I, I just couldn't find one. So I, I thought I'd post one, uh, one that's not, not biased. Um, uh, what I'd, I'd like to try to keep it as short as possible, but uh, hopefully what I can say in this video can uh, help you make a decision on whether or not you wanna purchase one of these helmets. Um, and I'm just gonna talk about a few different areas about the helmet, a few different uh, aspects. I'm gonna talk about the protection, uh, the aerodynamics, the venting, uh, the looks, the fitment, which is especially important if you're going to order one online. Uh, and then overall, is it worth it? Is it worth the price? So first I want to start by uh, just stating uh, why why I purchased this, this helmet here uh, in, in the first place. Um, my previous helmet, I paid $125 and it was, uh, it was suitable. It, it did the job. Uh, and I was happy with it. It, uh, it was certainly uh, um, affordable. Then as I started to watch some G uh, MotoGP races, um, I started to think to myself, as I seen them all uh, suited up with all that uh, protection, I started to ask myself, um, theoretically, what's the difference between their lives and our lives? They're, they're both precious. Their lives are precious and, and so as ours. So I said, you know, I want that protection. I want the same protection in a helmet that, that, that they're getting. Can I afford it? So I started to shop around and I came across this. It's a, it's a helmet that you know, the MotoGP riders have used in the past because HJC has come a long way. They're pretty competitive now uh, in the, uh, uh, as far as uh, helmets. And um, I looked around and, and I found a, uh, a model that I liked, um, and so I started to pursue it. Um, yeah, and, and that's and that's why I, that's why I bought the helmet. I did as much research as I can uh, on it, uh, but I just didn't find a deciding factor in a video. So I, I, I'm hoping to establish that uh, with this one with this one here. Um, so let's talk about those areas. Let's talk about the protection that this 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 helmet affords. Now, most helmets carry a minimum of a DOT rating. I know here in the States, that's what they require, at least a DOT. So that's the minimum standard that they have to pass. But this one has an ECE on the back, ECE, which is a standard above the DOT. So it has to meet at least the ESE to be uh, uh, meet that qualification. So you have that added level um, of protection in a helmet. And again, I, I go back to, uh, uh, those who those who race for a living, it gives that added protection because uh, all of our lives are, are really precious. Um, so you have that rating. Uh, there's something uh, a few few nice features about this helmet, and when it comes to safety, it has these emergency releases that medical field knows. This is, of course, the worst case scenario. We never want to find ourselves here. We do the best that we can to avoid being in an accident as we're going down the road. We're not only concerned about how we're driving, but we're concerned about how everybody around us is driving, especially the guy in the back, the guy coming at us. So this is certainly a worst case scenario. We don't want to find ourselves in a wreck, but if we ever were in a wreck, emergency personnel, as they respond, they would know by on the side here that they have this feature where they can pull these cheek pads right out. So these two big pads will come out, which makes taking the helmet off easier. So they won't do any further damage if, or they won't do any damage to our neck or our heads. Uh, because of that feature, which is really nice. Um, while we're staying on the uh, safety, you notice the base of the helmet is not straight. In, in other words, the casing has this lip that goes up and down both sides, and it uh, re reveals the padding more right here. Now, why? Well, as they went and did their research uh, of the different um, accidents on the track and what have you, and even on the road at, at riders, um, when the helmet or the head would be tilted one way or another, the most vulnerable bone right there is your, is your collarbone. So a lot of collarbones were being broken. Um, MotoGP riders, they, they, they've broken their, their collarbones multiple times. So what they did was to try to soften the blow to the collarbone, they uh, created this angle padding. So the padding hits first. So you're less likely to do serious damage to your collarbone. So those are the those are the safety features that uh, I wanted to talk about. 
I'm gonna talk about the aerodynamics now real quick. Um, I didn't know what aerodynamic helmet was until I bought this one. I've had about four or five different helmets as I, when I rode, uh, since I've been riding bike when I was younger and, and now. Um, and this one gave me a true idea of what aerodynamics really was. Now it must have to do with the this, this shape, of course, the, the, the back fin here or spoiler or whatever they want to call it. Um, I found when I was riding with this helmet the first time um, that my head didn't move back with the wind. Whether I was upright, whether I was crouched down, or even when I would turn my head left or right, I said, surely I'm gonna start feeling that head wind now pulling me back, but, but I didn't feel anything. I was amazed. It was as almost as if this helmet was invisible to the wind, as if the wind didn't even have a chance to see it. So uh, I would grade it for the aerodynamics alone. If you've never had one uh, in this type of a shape, it's, it's just amazing. It's, it's just, it's a tale of two cities, really. Um, so for the aerodynamics, it'll, it'll amaze you. Um, venting, and that's what I was sold on this for. I live here in Florida, average temperature, I think year round, and I might be exaggerating, but it sure does seem like 90 degrees, you know, and we get 90 to 100. We, it's just hot for you know 80% of the, uh, the year down here. Um, so when I saw the venting that this thing included, I thought, hey, that might be something, because I, I do like the idea of having a full face shield uh, uh, helmet, um, but with that comes a little bit of, it, 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 it's hot. So this, this one here has the venting. Let me show you. In the front, you have the venting for keeping it um, defogged inside, which is, which is really nice up front here. But also underneath it, on the underside, is another switch that you can activate on and off. And that opens up these vents. So you get some venting to your, um, to your chin. Uh, but the more, most pronounced is the one right here on the top. These, these ones that I'm about to talk about. As you open and close this one, you will definitely feel the air as it hits your forehead and it, it's refreshing. Also, you have these thumb wheels up here for these two inlets here. As you open these wide open, you'll feel the air hit your head and roll to the back. Again, pretty, pretty refreshing. And, and you really start to feel these vents not at 10, 20 miles an hour, but more at 40, 50, 60 miles an hour, you really feel the venting uh, and it, it does a super good job. Now, those are the inlets in the front. Now in the back, you have this little louver and you have some venting that comes out of here. These on the side as well, but the one here, it's designed so that the air goes over the helmet, down through that little wing there. And there's um, some vents that come out here and the wind creates a vacuum as it leaves. So it pulls air out of the helmet, which is nice. Cause now you have all the venting in the front, heads to the back and it's sucked out the back and the process just continues. So you constantly have this fresh air uh, inside your helmet as you're going down the road, um, which I think is nice and it feels great. It just feels great. Um, Oh, just let me go back just real quick on that one thought about um, aerodynamics. This weighs, I'm doing the best I can to train, uh, to convert, but I think it weighs about 2.9 pounds, give or take, which to me, it was almost weightless. Uh, with, with all that extra protection uh, and the safety features, it's super light. As I was going down the road, I didn't even feel like I had a helmet on and, and that because of the weight and the aerodynamics. I just wanted to include that uh, point too, so that you know. Um, we've talked about venting. Now the looks, obviously, super, super nice. I think it's an awesome looking helmet. Um, and other people do too, because I've noticed as I go down the road, especially in crowded streets and downtown areas, people look at the helmet more than they look at my bike. And also concerned about what bike I'm riding, it seems like it catches their eye. Um, and what I liked about it was the blue, and that's why I, I ordered mine, because they didn't have blue in this country. Uh, so I had to get mine from Germany. Um, but it also has the black, and it's got some high-vis stripes, and it's just, uh, with the tinted shield, I just think it's a dynamite-looking uh, helmet. It's sporty, um, but at the same time, it's very practical. Very, very practical for everyday riding. Uh, so as far as looks, you have to give it a good grade. It also comes in a red, and it also comes the same kind of paint scheme 
uh, with the logo. It also comes in a different color, different uh, uh, brightnesses of gray, different shades of gray. So if you like the all gray look, you can still get that uh, with this. And this model is called the Speecho, S-P-I-C-H-O, Speecho. So, um, and I'll talk about um, why it was hard to get the blue after a little bit. Um, so for looks, gets a high score. Fitment, now this is important, how it fits, especially if you're gonna order yours online. I read about it beforehand and the people were right. If you take a medium, you need to go up one size. So whatever size you take, you need to step it up one. Um, I took a medium, I only could find a large. This fits perfect, fits perfect. I called the, uh, uh, a representative for HJC here in the United States. I don't know sure if he was a salesman or uh, uh, what part he played in the company, but they got him to me uh, on the phone because I was looking for this helmet and he could help me. Um, and he told me, he said, if you can't find a medium, get the large. The casing is the same size. The only difference is, is the padding. So in other words, as far as medium or large, the only difference is the, the padding inside. So if you had a large and you needed a medium, you take all the padding from the inside out, purchase the medium padding, and now you have a medium helmet. So, and that, that goes true for the extra small and the small, it's the same thing. Same casing for those two, it's just the padding that's different. So keep that in mind. If you can't find the one that you want, but you can find a different size, you maybe just change the padding. And the padding is gonna run you somewhere between 40 and $50. To replace it and all of a sudden you have a different size uh, you have the right size helmet but uh, the moral of that story is step up one size if you're going to order yours online i took a medium and this is a large it fits perfect okay so fit me now i said a lot of good things about the helmet and i, I like i said i wanted to give you my honest evaluation is there anything negative about it well yeah yeah there is something negative that you, i think you should know so as not to have a high expectation. Uh, I thought when I went from a $125 helmet to this one, which this cost me 350 plus 50 to ship it. So I've got 400 invested in this, invested in this helmet. Um, I was hoping that the wind noise would be significantly less than my $125 helmet. Uh, and what I found was the wind noise is exactly the same. So I didn't gain anything as far as less wind noise or it didn't get any worse. Um, but it, it did have an effect on, uh, on me. Um, but now when we talk about wind noise, this has a, a chin screen, it comes with a chin screen, it's removable. I leave mine in, I can still get it on and off with the chin screen in there. And what I found with the chin screen and these pads around my lower jaw, that anything below me, like the sound of the engine, got significantly quieter, okay? which was nice. Uh, so I can still hear enough of the engine so I know when to change gears depending on how fast I want to pick up some speed. So I can still hear the engine, uh, but it's less than half of what I heard before. So the wind noise is coming from the bottom of the shield, okay? And I put a light underneath there and I looked and I could see the light as clear as day on both sides. So uh, where the bottom of the shield comes just about to where your ears are and that's where I'm hearing the wind noise. Is it, um, is it so loud that it, it makes riding unpleasurable? No, no, I wouldn't say that. But I, I, I thought it would be significantly less. But overall, it's not bad. Um, but I will say this, and another feature I'm gonna talk about real quick. I will say this, and I, you know, to HJC's credit, this model here, hard to find because this paint scheme came out last year. So like I said, I had to order mine. So this has been sitting on a shelf somewhere for at least a year. Okay, it's brand new, but it's been sitting because they, they came out with other paint schemes, of course. So my thought for HJC is maybe, just maybe the seal that goes around where the shield comes down and meets, maybe it's dried up, maybe it's shrunk a little. I'm gonna look into it, I'm gonna call HJC, see what they say. Maybe, maybe I can replace that. Uh, but that's where I'm finding uh, the wind noise is coming from. Like I said, it's not so super horrible that I'm upset uh, about owning this, this helmet. Uh, while I'm at it, you notice the shield comes down and it snaps into place. And you, you squeeze these two pieces together and you lift it up. Super nice feature. And I'm, I'm imagining that's, that's there for uh, those who race, those who do 
maybe 120, 150, up to 200. Um, the last thing you want at that speed is when you come up from that crouch position and the wind just lifts this up because that, um, that put a hurting on your neck. So I'm sure uh, it locks into place for that reason. Just a nice added little feature. And with your gloves on, it's uh, really easy to operate when you're when you come to a stop sign you're going to be there for a little bit at a major signal really easy to open and close okay um so that's just another nice nice little feature so i guess the bottom line overall uh would i say it's worth the price I, like i said for me i've got 400 vested in this thing uh, because of the shipping from germany i'm extremely happy with it i'm extremely happy with my purchase when i put it on my head and i go down the road i feel like i really have something i have a measure of protection I got something that looks nice uh, it's practical um, and I feel good I, I feel good going down the road with it I don't feel the wind it's not pushing me so for that reason I, I really recommend it and when we talk about value this something else I, I failed to mention this comes with two shields it comes with the smoke tinted one like this which is super dark when you put it on um, as far as perspective of people looking um, but it blocks out the Sun beautifully and it comes with a clear one. Usually when you get a helmet, you have to buy the second one and that costs you $50. So you're getting two. So you can even take $50 off the price if you're looking at what you're really paying. And then there's a, there's a plastic film that goes on the inside of this to help um, anti-fogging. And I, I've got it on inside here right now. It snaps into place. I went down the road the other day and I purposely tried to fog up my, my shield Oh, excuse me, by breathing heavy on it. And, and I just could, couldn't fog it up. I'll, I'm super impressed. So you, you get all the, all of that is included um, in, in the purchase. Um, so I, I, I highly recommend it. Um, these, these, this also comes in a red, where the blue is would be all red. Uh, and like I said, the different shades of, uh, of gray. Um, there, there's a phrase, there, there's a, there's a phrase that people say, I've heard it since I was a kid, you get what you pay for. You know, that's true. And there's, there's just no denying that for the most part, you get what you pay for. But I'm gonna add just one more phrase to that. You get what you pay for, but you buy what you can afford. Okay, so you're hemmed in between those two principles. You get what you pay for, yes. If, if you go out and spend $5,000 on a helmet, you're gonna know you got a $5,000 helmet, but can you afford it? So I, I guess what I'm trying to say is if, if you have that $125 helmet and you can't afford anything else, you have a measure of protection. Just think for those guys who don't have any helmets, what, what do they got? I, I know they have choice, um, but you do get a measure. You, you get what you pay for, but you buy what you can afford. If you can afford a $400 or $350 helmet, I highly recommend it. I can speak for this. Uh, you will not be disappointed if you buy HJC Alpha 11 uh, helmet. I highly recommend it. So um, those are those are my thoughts. Um, just want to say, hey, if you like, this is my first review of anything. Um, and the reason I did it is I really like the helmet. Um, I think you'll like it too. Um, so if you're on the fence about it, maybe this video will help you. Hey, give me a, a thumbs up. Um, I, I, I'd love to hear comments from you guys. From around the world i'd love to hear comments on what you think about my video if i've said anything inaccurate in here if i've uh, misquoted anything or uh, i'd like to know that because i'll turn around and i'll make the adjustment because i don't want any any inaccuracies i just want to uh, give everyone um, some insight to make a good decision to make to make an investment okay so with that i just want to say hey stay safe out there um and keep in mind stay safe not just for yourself but uh stay safe for all the ones who love you too, because they want you to be safe. All right, guys, have a good day.